I'm going to try as best as I can to make this short and sweet. But that's relative. <laughs> So, um, when first getting back to the state of Texas, after everything <laughs> that, um, was going on, um, <laughs> I had made an appointment at the San Antonio VA. And, um, well, I guess not technically made an appointment so much as showed up to the VA emergency room because I wanted to make sure that I was legitimately okay. Like, because of everything that was going on, I was just, you know, again, I was dealing with um, certain aspects of similarities, but not the exact same in reference to certain things. And I wanted to make sure that I was legitimately healthy, you know, of sound state of mind, like all these different things because of everything that had occurred with my Medal of Honor art project, um, how I had, um, Locked up in Washington State, the different aspects of, and so I, I went to the VA on my own. And the doctor and nurse, they, you know, ran all sorts of tests and, I don't know, everything clear, good to go. Awesome. So I'm just, you know, me. <laughs> a few other things that they wanted to run over and I was like do you guys mind if I step outside while you go do the you know doctor stuff and and you know I'll go out to the smoking section and take care of stuff you know just go breathe for a little bit and you know kind of process some of the different stuff going on in my thoughts So I went outside. That's where you go smoke, vape, same thing. Well, you know, in an apartment it's different. And realistically, there's it's water. Anyway, so uh, because you inhale all of the nicotine. When you exhale, you are not exhaling nicotine into the air. You're exhaling water vapor. Now, unless you, I mean, there is like maybe a teeny, teeny, tiny, small percentage that actually has um, nicotine. But I mean, again, the amount you actually inhale in comparison to an exhale, nothing. And unless you just pull, pull the draw and then just keep it and then blow it out without actually inhaling, well then, but I'm not gonna waste it like that. <laughs> I don't like wasting. I will admit I've done certain things when it comes to plants, but it's not the same as a draw and, and stuff like that. So it's, it's very different in that regard. But any time I'm out smoking, vaping, whatever, I am inhaling. Absolutely inhaling. Yes, I inhale as I draw. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. Although, isn't it kind of funny? that it's called a draw, and then, you know, artwork. <laughs> and then isn't there something military-wise, draw, and something? A anyway, go back to that aspect. So I was out at um, the smoking section at the VA in San Antonio. I had already, you know, I went and sang the national anthem at the American flag region the state of Texas flag and stuff, and um, whatchamacallit, I had, um, I had, and I did that a couple days in a row, but that is what it is, and so I have this thing about the National Anthem. Anyway, so went out to um, 
smoking section and I see a whole bunch of Marine Corps guys. Who's the VA? What's going on? What's happening? So, yeah. <laughs> I went over to, I don't know what rank, but I know it was above an E5. And I was like, excuse me. And the guy kind of looked at me like, yes. And I'm like, what are they doing here? Or they're active, right? And I was like, yeah. I'm like, why are they here? And he said, well, you know, um, Marine Corps, some of the guys are being trained to assist at the VA. And I was like, oh, well, that's good. And he kind of just looked at me a little like, oh, okay. And I was like, no, no, no. And it's, it's, it's a long story in certain regards. And so, you know, they went off and, and did what they did. And so I had explained to many individuals over the years especially especially from 2010 through 2013 but i had discussed it many times before that well before what happened at mccoy elementary school to my daughter and conversely my son obviously i'm involved in that regard but my my main concern had been my children and so in that um i had explained that aspect of military health care issues in certain regards all across the board from essentially 2003 on more heavily in 2004 and 2005 but you know then when returning to the state of texas i saw people who were like family to me and and we talked briefly about certain VA stuff. You know, it's one of those. Mm, I, it was uh, explained to me that one of the different doctors that someone who's like family to me, friend, had not been able to speak with his um, doctors. Anytime attempting to speak with the doctor was more fluffy. And stuff and and guy who's like family to me he didn't have a job that was fluffy <laughs> at all like <laughs> whatsoever and guys like him and so it was one of the at that moment and since then random thoughts and stuff it's one of those I had discussed with other people and again, not in any offense to who became and who is now former president, well, then who became the President Obama, but now former President Obama, in reference to military stuff. And not in any offense towards him when he was running, but it was one of those military law enforcement stuff. There is a certain mentality. It is not that they are robots. They are far from robots. They have their own thoughts. They have their own feelings. They have their own experiences, despite what certain civilians I have met over the years and explained otherwise to them. And they do have to think on their toes, because if they were actually robots, I'm going to give an example as an artificial intelligence. Ooh, I got some techie techie guys attention. <laughs> So I had, and with that particular guy who's like family, very much understand, um, there was a couple who had shown up and challenged me to a dance off. And it was like, nah, n n no, <laughs> no, not going to happen. And I would be as sadistic as I am <laughs> because, you know, if they had said, oh, we think, if they had said that they picked out a song, no, 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 a dance off where I'm from, because the male claimed that the female had grown up in New Jersey, 
the dance off where I come from, you go to whatever is thrown on. You don't, you don't get to pick the music. It's whatever's on the radio. Whatever is on the radio, so the DJ would be the one who actually picked the songs. You wouldn't get to pick the songs. But instead, it was just, eh, no thanks. That was nice. That was nice. Those who know me, I was so sweet. <laughs> I was so, I was, I, I was pure sugar cane at that point. And so, but I had asked, you know, well, what exit did you you know, grow up off of. And those who are especially from New Jersey, especially from New Jersey, you know what exit you grew up on. You, it's just the way it goes. And um, she, the, the female, apparently artificial intelligence with the male, kind of uh, 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 exit 193. Well, <laughs> I admit it's been a while since I had been to New Jersey, but I was like, I don't think the state of New Jersey is that big. <laughs> like, that was my thought. Like, I don't, I don't think it's that big. <laughs> but no, I'm still not going to do your little dance off thing. And so, and, and the two of them, they were, they were upset. And I was like, I went outside, I checked and while I was smoking. I was like, oh, there's at most like 95 exits. <laughs> it's like, yeah. A little off on that number there, you know, maybe uh, threw a little wrench in and, and you know, <laughs> you know, the artificial intelligence of the two of them just couldn't handle, like, the question and, you know, misfire and stuff like that. You know, military stuff, yeah. And so, <laughs> anyway, going into that regard of, you know, knowing certain things. Well, you know, not all Marine guys, not all Marine guys, and not being sexist, just in the overall sort of way, East Coast thing, they go through 13 weeks of basic training. They may not all have specific types of, of specialized training, but they do go through quite a bit. And so seeing that, it was one of those, there you go, that's, that's what I was talking about, you know, and in and, and a grander aspect of certain other things that I had discussed with people in reference to military and civilian healthcare and combinations and stuff. And I was one of those, the people that would get upset at me for saying certain things like, I didn't even like do anything overseas. You haven't, you haven't, if you think I'm mean. <laughs> So nice. I mean, I'm sadistic. I don't deny that. But I am so nice. <laughs> like, I am so like. <laughs> but since you consented to me giving you a <laughs> royal verbal chewing out, you know, okay, judge, you know, but even still, it was very nice. <laughs> very, 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 very nice <laughs> compared to the way I could have gone. And so. You know, and it's not that I want unemployment sort of issues. Of course, I don't want that because that doesn't assist the economy. However, in regards to making sure military guys are taken care of, and that includes law enforcement and fire department, because they have a similar training where they have, you know, certain protocols. And, and yes, they still have to think on their toes. They still have to. It's not it's not like certain things like in that reference of, you know, what exit number, you know? And so, um, when who became president Obama was running in 2008 and that Thanksgiving dinner and that whole thing with my now ex, um, well, I don't know if Patricia is still married to Zach or not, but whatever. But point being, you know, explaining that as far as when Patricia came at me, my biological sister, you know, how dare you not vote for Obama? Look at your hair. You should vote for him. How dare you not vote for Obama? Look at your tattoos. Look at your skin. It has nothing to do with that. You this, you that. Mm -mm. No. And then when I laid out my reasons 
for why at that time I was going, and I did, vote for Senator McCain and Governor Palin. Her then husband, Zach, just, <laughs> his face got lower and lower to the table. <laughs> But like, <laughs> and, and I would guesstimate even now, former President Obama could probably say, if I had even just a little bit of military academy or something that could have prepared in that regard, which was one of my points as to why I wasn't going to vote for him and I didn't. It wasn't because of his political party. It wasn't because of, I mean, there were certain things that he had discussed that were, were of importance. However, the fact that being president, you are commander in chief. You gotta be able to speak with the military. You gotta be able to speak with the law enforcement guys. You can't have, you know, you, you can't have that Oh, well, they're being mean because they're saying the truth. Or the, you can't be, you know, oh, they're being mean because, you know, yes, sir, no, sir. You know, very, couldn't those who have met military and law enforcement guys when, or seen them when they're doing stuff as one of those, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, you know, whatever it is. It's just, that's how that goes. And so, in turn, I, as soon as... The candidates were brought out, all of them, you know, that pretty much had, I mean, I think at that time, Donald Trump, now President Trump, had been one of the last people to announce that he was going to make a presidential run at that time. And I was like, that's the guy. That's it. That's in, you know, and it's it was no offense towards any of the other and at that time, I didn't even know that he had gone to a military school. But I could see it in certain ways. And so, under the current president of the United States of America and his administration with the vice president, Vice President Pence, he and, and, and the two of them and their, late, their ladies of the United States of America, their families of the United States of America, they saw that. They were the ones who put the, the guys there. They got together with whoever they got together with to make sure that the veterans were able to be assisted at the VA. Marines know how to double time, triple time, quadruple time, septennial time, decennial time, if they have to. They do. They definitely do. If they have to pick it up and kick it up a gear, they're not going to wait. They, they don't have, no. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, they, they know that as, you know, whether they're active duty National Guard or reservists, they know, especially with, with older veterans of certain things that they've gone through. May not be the exact same, but there are certain similarities where those guys could feel more comfortable in those locations discussing things and not, you know, get the, oh, fluffy bunny, fluffy bunny, fluffy. No, no, no. The world is not sugar, gumdrops, and fairy tales. It's, I mean, there are por portions of that, but there are jobs in the military, even in Pogue jobs or you know paperwork pusher for civilians who don't know that term even there they've been exposed to certain stuff and so you know i was i just wanted to make her like hey thanks <laughs> i mean despite the fact that i Right now, I have no need to actually go for different medical stuff because I've realized I'm never going to get rid of my headaches. I'm never going to get rid of my migraines. 
there are things that do work out for me, you know, that assist that pain level. But, you know, I still have to be able to do stuff. <laughs> and, you know, you don't get to really have many discussions. <laughs> When certain things are occurring, you know, that, that, I, I am social, so, you know, I am an extrovert in certain ways, though an introvert in other ways, and so, you know, especially when my headache levels, my brain levels are what they are, I'm very introverted, I'm very much inside. <laughs> Don't want to be outside, don't want to see the sunlight, don't want to, nope, pain levels too much, don't, nope, mm -mm. when they're just, you know, headaches, well, and depending on the levels, I can go out and do stuff, but, you know, and during this quarantine status, I've had to, I don't deny, there have been times where I've actually had to force myself to go to the grocery store because it's like, ugh, my pain levels are just, ugh, what they are, ugh. I think I'm having an allergic reaction to them and them, and that's why. <laughs> because they're whining so much in 725 and 736, where it's like, I, I, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. You're whining and you're complaining, and it's just, and, and, Like, <laughs> just, ugh. not just their lack of cleanliness, but, you know, like, just, ugh. And that's just a hypothesis from, you know, the stuff that I can smell. Um, and those who have headaches and migraines, you know your sense of smell is heightened. You know your sense of smell is quite heightened. And so, you know, but I just... I wanted to say that's pretty cool that they took care of that for the VA and hopefully that'll assist getting guys taken care of as I as I've already you know seen of course and so you know be good to see that turn around real quick and, and do better and be better for those guys and and realistically, you know, core guys very much <laughs> don't like to waste time. Don't, don't don't like to waste time and those are the guys who know how to make the most out of the littlest bit. Again, going into the Marine Corps being a separate branch but still getting some funding from the Navy. And so the, that aspect of being able to ensure the stuff being taken care of correctly and accurately without waste, and no offense towards any of the other branches, that that's not being me. It's just, you know, get that stuff taken care of. And again, with guys like who are like family to me, that are in the vicinity, and not just the one guy I'm talking about, but a couple others in the area, that those guys are able to get their stuff taken care of quicker. And they've had certain jobs that can't talk with someone fluffy. Someone fluffy is not going to be the person to speak with. And so, you know, the, the fluffy ones can speak with the ones that are similar to that apartment and that apartment. <laughs> In comparison to the guys who have completed certain sorts of stuff. <laughs> That's what I just had to say. That's all. You guys have a good one.